welcome back to my channel this is a fearless me challenge update week number three um, this is a challenge for 365 days or should I say for the next 365 days I will be doing something fearless something that makes me a little bit or maybe even a lot of bit uncomfortable um, just to kind of push myself and get myself out of my comfort zone and of course encourage you to do so also so this past week has been a really tough week um, for my mostly for my clients but also just me as a therapist um, and also I have family who um, are survivors of sexual abuse sexual assault um, and in the news with the Supreme Court nominations of Brett Kavanaugh and Dr. Blizzy Ford's um, testimony it just was really triggering and really traumatizing for many people and so I spent this week really just trying to be there for survivors um, challenging even people in my own family who maybe um, how to put this gently um, were not so kind um, in the way that they expressed their own views about things that's that's the most PC way I can put it so I found myself being a really I mean I already advocate for my clients and I'm there for them whenever they need um, but extending that and being there in like the larger community and being more active on social media and in different Facebook groups and just kind of being more of a vocal advocate was something that I had just, is not the most comfortable thing for me as I've always been kind of this type of person who likes to slide under the, ra under the radar and just kind of I'm always trying to make sure everybody's okay and you know don't want people to be upset and so this week I just said heck with it I don't care if you are upset with me saying that you're just flat out wrong um, when you try to question survivors and their memory. I'm not talking about a lawyer doing their job um, or a police officer necessarily doing their job, even though I think there can be more compassion around how um, people in law enforcement um, work with survivors. I'm just talking about everyday interactions that people are having and just not being compassionate at all. Um, so I found myself being very vocal and you can check out um, my last video that I wrote, um, that I wrote, wow, that I made on YouTube where basically I just kind of called out therapists that I know who want to play the devil's advocate piece when it comes to, to surviving, um, believing survivors' testimonies and things that survivors say and just basically telling any survivor of sexual abuse, sexual assault that, I mean, this is anybody with, when you're seeking therapy, you should be interviewing your therapist and making sure that the fit is right. Um, just because they have credentials on paper doesn't mean that um, they're a good fit for you. Because um, it's more than that. It's a lot of what goes into, into therapy is the therapeutic relationship or rapport, whatever phrase you want to call it. But it is about that connection. And you cannot always tease out your own personal feelings um, and what you know on paper. And when I say paper, I mean what we learned in school. So definitely doing more advocacy around that and just kind of calling people out on their BS. Another thing that I did this week besides really advocating um, on the for sexual abuse and sexual assault survivors was just kind of making sure I took care of myself, making sure that um, I spent time with people who wanted to spend time with me, um, connected with people whose values are aligned with mine. So often, um, I think we hold on to friendships or we hold on to relationships because, you know, we've been in them for a long time. And at the time, they served a purpose, right? They, there was a reason you connected. But people grow, people change. And sometimes that means that with that growth and with that change, you kind of, separate um or you know there's some distance and that's okay it doesn't mean anybody's good or bad or it's it, it's not about that but it's about making sure that you're surrounding yourself with people who are supportive who are uplifting and whose values like i said align with yours there's no competition there's no comparison you can share in each other's joys and sadness so yeah so anyway that's what happened for me this week i just was like it was just a tough week. Um, I really wanted to make sure that survivors felt supported, that I was also taking care of myself and put my own needs 
sometimes um, at the forefront and did that unapologetically. So that's it for this week's update. Not as exciting as I think previous updates were, but definitely have some stuff in the works this week and I'm hoping that next week's will be a little bit more interesting. Um, and of course, stay tuned for Thursday because Thursday's topic, it'll be a continuation of trauma and memory. And um, I'm thinking I'm going to focus more on children. I also work with kids in my practice. And there's a lot of things people don't really know um, about how um, what happens with uh, sexual assault and sexual abuse in children and what it's like to work with children who have been sexually abused. Um, I know. So I'll see you guys Thursday.